Well, Jerika Duncan joins us now from uh, Elkins Park, Pennsylvania. Jerika, we saw the video of him going into the courtroom, courthouse rather, and leaving, but we didn't see him in the courtroom. You were there. What was his demeanor like? He was very composed. You know, a, a, a lot wasn't said in that courtroom. Uh, the judge made it clear the moment that she came out and said this was going to be a very quick arraignment. Um, she discussed the charges uh, with Mr. Cosby, and um, he said he understood. Uh, the judge said to him at one point at the end, good luck to you, sir. Cosby said, thank you. Uh, and that was that. So uh, you didn't really get any sense that he was scared or asked any other questions or nervous, uh, but he was composed. He sat there with his hands kind of crossed like this at the table. He had both attorneys on each side of him uh, and basically just listened to what the judge had to say. There's going to be a preliminary hearing uh, in a couple of weeks, January 14th, as to where that will be. It was to be announced according to the judge in terms of whether it was going to be at this location or, or a different one. Jerika, as everyone knows, Cosby was born in Philadelphia. He's a well-known presence around the city and Temple University. How is the community reacting to these developments? Uh, you know, I think the community seems disappointed. Uh, we've obviously been hearing about these allegations for months now. Uh, to hear that he has formally been criminally charged with sexual assault kind of takes it to uh, another level. Um, I know working here in Philadelphia, he was revered. Uh, he had a lot of pride for being from Philadelphia and Marie. We worked together here. Um, so you know that it means uh, a lot when somebody, an icon, if you will, falls the way that he did. And to hear these stories come out uh, and then to actually read more of the, the depositions that were released or unsealed rather in July, uh, it definitely makes people who are fans of, of Bill Cosby's really question what was going on here. Uh, I know that when I was looking through the criminal complaint, there were more details that I was unaware of. Um, I wanted to share something with you from page nine, which uh, we hadn't reported yet, but he told investigators prior to the alleged incident, there were several instances in which the two petted and kissed. He said he never had intercourse with the victim because he liked the petting and the touching. And when directly asked, this again is according to the criminal complaint, when directly asked if he, being Bill Cosby, ever had sexual intercourse with the victim, Cosby gave the unusual answer, never asleep or awake. So it's things like that in that criminal complaint that I think anybody uh, who, who's just listening to that or hearing that, reading that, uh, questions, you know, what exactly was going on here. That will be uh, for um, the judge and, and potentially jurors to decide in terms of where this case goes from here. But what is clear is right now Bill Cosby is free on bail after being charged uh, for the first time criminally with sexual assault. All right, Jerika Duncan for us. Thank you.